Hey there, welcome back to another episode of Berlin Craft. Today we're at an ice spikes biome because I need to gather up a whole bunch of ice. And a whole bunch because today's product, project, product, project is going to be a nether tunnel. But it's going to be a little bit of a different nether tunnel. I don't think I'm going to go with the conventional minecart nether tunnel. I am actually going to be really, really silly and go with a boat design. This will go. This will be very interesting because there's actually a part in the tunnel where I have to go up a couple blocks. So this is going to be interesting and the problem solving will be fun. So I'm going to gather a lot of packed ice and I will be with you momentarily. So we're here over at where the nether tunnel is supposed to start. Now there should be like a hub somewhere around here, but I'm a bit lazy and I don't want to design the hub today. But I have a design for the nether tunnel which I think will work pretty well. So here's pretty much all the supplies we're going to be using is a whole bunch of stone slabs and of course the packed ice so we can move fast and it won't melt and a bunch of red stained clay along with some lights. Now I have a couple supplies in here that were old uh, because I changed the design a little bit. Uh, like the cobblestone walls, those would have been in there too. But this is the design, and it's going to be a, a very small design. And I am a little bit worried that something might go wrong because it's a very, very small design. But on the same token, I am sort of excited to see what will happen. So every two blocks, we take a red stained clay and just add the red stained clay. So, oops. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll leave that there. That's fine. So we just take the red stained clay and then we fill up the wall like this. And then red stained clay, red stained clay, red stained clay. Just make sure everything is even and lined up with each other. Because this is going to be an extremely small design. This is like a ultimate space saver sort of design that you can have in your world. And it won't take up that much space in the nether tunnels. Or uh, nether if you really want to like conserve space in the nether for some reason. Because, you know, obviously so many people build in the nether. So pretty much finish up the walls here. One second. Okay. So, oops, I forgot this side. So, I'm going to explain where the roof goes. So, at the very start, you're going to give yourself one little line of space. Now, every single one of these is going to have two lamps or glowstone or whatever you prefer to place there. And then, uh, like this. Just straight across, like this, little bits of down parts like this, so you don't actually see anything. You can also fit the levers like up there, so if you wanted to turn them on like this. Uh, and then maybe this one you want to leave up so you can just put that like that. And there you go. That is the design. That is all of the design that is there. I told you it is extremely small, extremely compact. If you want to save space in the nether, you can do that. Preferably, I just, I'm just i just doing it because I think it might look nice. Oh, we only need one lever. Fantastic. That saves us levers. Boop, boop light it all up, and then you will get to see that, again, it's packed ice, it doesn't melt, so there's no worry that you will have something bad happen. Now, I already sort of thought about pigmen spawning on the track, but I'm not sure it'll happen, because do they do they spawn in light? I am not sure, but if there's pigments, then there's pigments, and I'm not going to be worried. But this is the design, this is the extremely small design, and all you have to do is come up here, place your boat down, and go. No worries, no hassle, nothing to stop you on your track, you just take what you have and then keep going with it, and that is your nether tunnel, that is your extremely space efficient, very quick nether tunnel, and just to do a small test, because I like doing a little bit of tests sometimes, we're going to grab the tracks, and I don't think, yeah, I don't have any minecarts. So I'm going to grab that quickly, but if we just lay, oops, uh, if we just lay down all the power rails, like every single one of these is a power rail. Oh, you didn't grab any normal rails. I thought I did. Uh, do, do grab normal rails. So if we have just something really simple like this, and then every single block following is a power rail like that, right? You have, you have the entire thing, a power rail, and then there's just one block right here that will be a lever. Did I put, no, the levers are just really weird to see. So then, of course, that powers that. So I'm going to grab a uh, little bit of a minecart and I'll be right back. So I checked my zombie pigmen factoids. Uh, they do spawn at any light level, so the concerns might be with the areas that have enough space for them to spawn, but I'm not going to be concerned with them right now. So pretty much, just to make my point, I also expanded the 
tunnel out a little bit more and along with the path. So the minecart's actually going to get a little bit of a head start, but we're actually going to get a lot faster, a lot quicker than the minecart. So it is obviously a faster mode of transportation than the minecart. Okay, the minecart did move. One second. Why didn't the move? Why didn't why didn't the move? Oh, was there not a block there? Hold on. Boop. Yeah, now you move. Okay. Oops, my bad. We'll, 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 we will reconduct the experiment to, you know, prove I'm right, because that's how I do things. Okay. Boat. Grab boat. Hello, boat. Go back down here. Okay, the minecart is broken. Entity minecart rideable. Name. Okay, that's nice. I didn't know, uh, I didn't know the minecarts could break like that. So place you down. Place the boat. And launch. And we've made it. And it is still there. So we are considerably about four or five blocks faster currently than minecarts. So, like, right now, I just consider it to be the, the slower method of transportation in another. And that's why I'm going to prefer the ice path that I have here. So I'm going to keep expanding this. And I will see you back at the corner. And then at the jump, we have to figure out how it's going to work. Because that is going to be something very very weird because I know the boats still act a bit weird so doing a slime block jump or something of the such uh, is going to be very difficult to actually try and pull off so I will see you back at those points when I keep building the tunnel so I'll see you in a second so simply what I am doing now is going along the path and places where there are the gap I'm placing cobblestone fences because pigmen did spawn they did interrupt the boat and I don't want that and this still provides light and I guess it looks a, a better than like a different method which was supposed to be carpet but carpet uh, sort of ruined the plan so now I'm just going through the entire track to actually put down fences and then we will do the little bit of the, you know, test run redstone slime launcher thing that I have in mind. But for now, bug fixing the path. This should be the last little bug fix before all the redstone bug fixes, which should be fun. So I will see you at the redstone bug fix. I can't turn my head any more than this. Thank you. Okay, see you in a second. Okay, and now it's time for the redstone portion. And also, I switched from lanterns to glowstone because I got extremely lazy. Okay, so we have some pressure plates there, which we'll be hitting as we go. And we're going to hit this pad. Now, the question is, for the pad, how high and how far will we go on one launch? So hopefully we can sort of determine this with uh, this little bit of a staircase I made. Like, maybe we can get accurate results. I know there's a slight bug with... Uh, boat desyncing off of slime blocks. Maybe it seemed like there was so hopefully we can get some accurate and you know hopeful responses. I didn't actually hook up the redstone uh, I'm silly. Okay, hold on go back down here to where I actually set the redstone that would help and Feed it lead it feed it meet it turn it into Beats? I don't know. Okay, uh, there we go. Straight to the piston. Power it from the bottom. Like this. Uh, how much of a delay should we have? I'm going to say a one tick delay. Or, uh, that would be two ticks. One, two, two ticks? I think it's two ticks. Okay, so let's try that. This should give us an accurate representation of full speed. No. Okay, so that doesn't work. We need more than one tick. So let's go two ticks and try again. Okay. Oh, Jesus. I almost fell. Hopefully there are a good thing there wasn't lava there. Okay, so let's try again. Get myself straightened out and back up. And go. Straight into the roof. Okay, no problems with that. No absolute problems with that. Uh, bread. So no problems with height or speed. So even if we're going at a smaller speed, easily hit where we need to hit. So now if I just want to line it up with the portal, which I will do, we just need to create a, a basket of sorts. So move all this because this is no longer needed. All right. So we don't need this. We don't need this stuff. And then I have to decorate it a little bit, but that's uh, that's no problem. Do, 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 do. Go like this. And then directly with it, uh, here, 
So do 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 here, and then three across one or one two three four. So here would be the fourth. So across like this. And then here would be the stop, so we might end up crash landing somewhere down there. But right here would be the ice. Hopefully we make it this far, or, you know, just the test drive. So like that. Correct. Uh, let's bring it out like four. One, two, three, four. So let's test if we can land on that. And if we do, and we can constantly land on that, we have a system, we should be perfectly fine, and then we're good. And then I'll do a little bit of a test drive or test ride down the track with you guys. So here we go. Yeah, there's there's the little bit of desyncing issue, the little bit of mess up. So if that happens, I might just end a, a little bit of a manual like staircase thing to just go up to the nether portal. Because it would be cool if it worked 100% of the time. It just sadly doesn't seem like that is always the case. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so <laughs> definitely make it here. We might have to add some roof buffer room. That's odd. That is definitely more than five blocks. That is like 10 or 15 blocks. Maybe 10. Maybe a 10 block launch. That is very weird. So boats get extreme launched so boats get extreme launched from the slime blocks which is actually sort of weird i wouldn't expect the boats to get extreme launched huh okay so one more test ride and then i will create the little bit of dressing around it and then do a test ride on it so there we go down we go very simple redstone which i enjoy and straight in fantastic and there's a little bit of air control too so if you feel like you're going off course that would be fine so what I'm thinking of doing is if we just want to go backwards, how far can we make it going just this way? Like if we start back here, like next to the portal, right? And we have our quartz entrance. If we just have a boat, how far can we make just going straight off? Pretty much straight back into the tunnel. Oh, hello. Okay, there we go. Pretty much straight back into the tunnel. So this jump would be absolutely no problem. So if we don't turn at all midair, right? If we don't turn at all, just straight in. Oh, we hit the slime blocks, but just straight in. Okay, okay, this works. This is fantastic. Okay, everything is working. I am happy. Let's try and get like super max full speed. Okay, yeah, a little bit of desyncing issues. You can see it just sort of floats down and away. Okay, so that might be a small problem, but other than that, we have a working system. So let me just dress this up really quickly, and then I will be back with you to do a full little test drive and show you off the entire tunnel, which is sort of impressive, sort of isn't impressive, but I will be back in just one second. Alright, so it's pretty much finished. All I did was add a little bit of a, a, a dip here with the opening so you can get out, which I might end up removing this one. And then up here, all I did for this is add the roof. I didn't add the lights because I didn't have the lights. You? He sort of just walked in there. He wasn't there a second ago. He just sort of walked in there. I know that for a fact. And then I just a little bit of a, a, a uh, slope that is it looks sort of cool. So if he could just vacate the area i would take you guys for a test drive but uh he seems to be very content on staying there so maybe if we can just take him put put him in a boat put where'd the boat go where did the boat go it's a mystery nobody knows where the boat go you need to leave now now where now where the boat go hello okay boat go boat disappear that's, that's the circle of life right there. A boat is born every minute. Dies. Three seconds later. Um, and I don't have any wood. Okay, one second. I'm gonna go grab some wood. As soon as I went out of the nether portal, boat. Boat in my inventory. It never left. Jesus. Okay. Back in. Hello? Oh, are you angry at me? You are angry. Hi. You went through the nether portal. Ah! go through the nether portal you're just lagging help help there's an angry pickle at me uh, if I could just there you go okay I'm just gonna get on the boat and leave 
Uh, obviously, there will be a little bit of a pathway actually there, but boat, boat go, boat lands in new area, and then boat continues on. Now, we're always going to end up pressing the button, but that's about that. But look how fast this is. This is going so quickly. This is obvious, like, this is going to be the new mode of transportation in the nether. Like, if people don't start doing this, I'm going to be very surprised. And this is probably really sickening for some of you, but honestly, it is, it is, you'll never see it. I, I probably won't put it on camera a whole lot. This is just for me to get uh, to places a lot quicker. And then when we reach the end, we're going to fly out. I might add something to stop the, uh, stop the crash happening on this side as well. But this is the nether portal. It is, um, or the nether tunnel. It is amazing. It is fast. It is quick. And let's take a small quick trip back, because if I am going at very, very maximum speeds, I want to see how that slime block launcher is going to take it. And now, hopefully, that was a weird little glitch. I guess that was because it uh, registered me in the block. So I want to see, at very, very maximum speed that we can hit, what will the slime block launcher do? Hopefully, it will take it properly. Like, look at this. This is extremely quickly. We're going at... A G we're going at 88 miles per hour. We're gonna end up hitting the time barrier soon. Okay, so we're going to be approaching it in a second. Let's see how it takes it. And oh, did the gold nugget actually stop us? Okay, so that's that. That's sort of broken. And again, if it just desyncs, I added like this little area so you can get out and just hop up here instead. Just walk to the nether portal because I know for a fact it's not going to 100% work. So I just added a little bit of a buffer area because obviously the boat, if it doesn't go anywhere, it's going to go up and then down. So you just end up here, you get out of your boat, you collect said boat, and then you go on your way. So that's that. This is the tunnel. I love the tunnel. It goes super speedy quick. Super, super speedy quick. And that's probably going to be it for this episode. We did quite a bit of work, although a bit, a lot of it was off camera. I'm, I might start doing time lapses again. I just don't know the general thought on time lapses. I might try and make them more interesting. Uh, once the replay mod gets updated to 1.9, I might try, starring, uh, tr uh, try to start doing them again. But for now, I just, I feel like it gets a bit boring when you're watching someone play something super fast in, uh, just a little bit of forward speed. So that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed again if you use this design or something in your you know own world you should tweet it at me at berlin riv because i like seeing people use my designs and this might be the future of minecraft nether transportation i don't know but anyway see you in the next video hope you enjoyed remember stay fancy and peace out Bye bye